human-centered innovation is about creating technology and processes, services that are human-centered. Because unfortunately, a lot of um, the technology today that we use for work, play, everything else is very technology-centered rather than human-centered. And so we want to bring in new innovation and new technology that supports humans. Okay, well, next gen is specifically is a transformation of the current national airspace. Um, in the future, the way that the way that pilots will fly through the airspace and the way that communications will take uh, place in the airspace is going to change. Uh, in order for that to happen, uh, there has to be a lot of research and a lot of uh, requirements and a lot of understanding of how do we build the technology as well as the processes and the interactions between pilots and air traffic control in order for us to move to this next generation airspace. Um, and the reason that we have to move to a next genera generation airspace is because the number of airplanes is, you know, and, and traffic is going up so incredibly high. So that's what, that's what NextGen is about. What we're doing is we're trying to help develop some of the human factors requirements that the FAA needs in order to figure out what's the best way to operate in that next generation airspace. Current business news today suggests that uh, innovative technologies are going to be those that are human-centered. If you have a product that doesn't consider the human from the beginning, then you're gonna, your product's going to fail in the market and go to another product um, probably that's very similar that really focuses on you know, human-centered aspect of that product. Um, if you do have that human-centered aspect of your product, you're more likely to get a bigger market share, which increases the needs for jobs in that company, for example. Um, other ways is to decrease costs. So healthcare, for example, costs great deals of money. We're talking about this all the time. But if you can improve the processes in healthcare, if you can bring the cost down due to those processes, um, if you can in introduce technology that um, helps clinicians and, and staff with their work, then you can actually reduce healthcare costs, and that can be a help to the economy. So that's another example. One of the things that we're doing uh, um, here or that we're focusing on in human-centered innovation is developing simulation technologies that can be used to train clinicians. And these are technologies that aren't just based on the traditional uh, mannequin-based technology, but also based on virtual technology. So virtual environments, um, and for example, we're creating a virtual patient. And the purpose of our virtual patient is to help train clinicians or physicians how to communicate with patients. So the focus is actually on training of communication uh, rather than training, for example, on how to diagnose a patient. So that's an example of a project that we're working on now.